If you've looked outside and noticed more wild rabbits in your yard, you're not alone. Storm Team meteorologist Heather Bricka looks into why there are more hopping around northern Michigan this year. There are two different rabbits that can be found in northern Michigan. The cottontail rabbit and the snowshoe hare. And if it seems like you've noticed them more, you're right. At a statewide scale in recent years, we've been seeing cottontail rabbits um, increasing pretty, pretty dramatically in some areas. Like when we think about the northern lower peninsula where, where you guys are at, as well as in the UP, that's not really traditional cottontail habitat. Part of it is that our climate has become more favorable for the rabbits. Basically, that southern extent of where we can find snowshoes in the northern lower moved north about 30 miles in the last 20 years or so. Um, and then simultaneously, we're seeing cottontails kind of come up, you know, farther and show up more in those areas. Michigan DNR says that it's also due to the decline in small game hunters. Over time, those, those numbers have declined quite a bit, and so has the resulting harvest. So uh, if we look back, you know, into the 50s, we had... Uh, you know, upwards of 400,000 hunters hunting cottontails in the state every year. Now we're down to about 75,000 hunters. The harvest numbers at peak were two and a half million cottontails a year for the state. Now the DNR says the estimated harvest every year is down to 250,000. They have also seen an increase in nuisance complaints because of it. We've gotten, you know, more nuisance issues popping up with some of those species and just trying to reduce barriers for the public to be able to deal with those issues, you know, if they if they do occur and if they are legitimate and we would otherwise never deny a permit. Back in May, they added rabbits to the list of species that landowners can kill to prevent property damage. That the animal needs to either be doing damage or physically present where it could imminently cause damage. And then we've attempted to define damage by the physical harm to forest products, roads, dams, buildings, orchards, apiaries, livestock, and horticultural or agricultural crops. In northern Michigan, Heather Bricka, Up North Live News. Norton says that homeowners killing rabbits isn't a bad thing, but he doesn't think that measure will signif significantly change the rabbit population.